Hello, I'm Phil Williams and together with my colleague Peter Jones we have developed a system for automating DC model railways. The controller here has a keypad, a speed control and a forward and reverse switch. And you can record a routine that you just play manually and then afterwards play it back over and over. I recorded one earlier on and I'm going to play it back now and describe what's happening. So the loco pulls out of the station, the light there is red. It sees the red light, the red light will turn to green. The loco will then pull forwards, it will go across this uh, makeshift uh, level crossing. The warning lights come on and pull into station number two. Meanwhile, this light has returned from uh, green to red and the warning lights have gone out. The loco will now reverse, you've just heard the points change. It will now reverse into the makeshift water tower, not into it, but alongside it. The warning lights come on again. You'll notice the very good low speed control that we have, that we've developed as well. It will now stop at the water tower from collecting water, and then it'll return to the original station. The warning lights will come on, and this time they'll stay on because it's going to uh, pause before the second station and then return to uh, station number one. Now all this is achieved with no wiring, there's no Bluetooth, there's no radio, you can use any loco that you've got in your collection. Uh, it can be double O, it can be uh, TT120 and it will also uh, work on Engage. Now let's pull back in. So how do we achieve all this magic? Well all you need are two components. First thing is a small magnet, one of these tiny little magnets, you fit that underneath the loco. Anywhere on the loco you can put it under the tender or the main body or on the front bogies. And that's all you have to do, you don't open the uh, uh, engine up, you just fit that underneath. And then secondly you fit these little circuit boards that uh, we've developed, these are called, we call them checkpoints, and these have to be fitted at strategic places around the track. Typical spacing, about a metre or so, but I've got one here, I've got one further up and one on each siding. And as the loco passes over the checkpoint, it sends a pulse back down the um, wires to the controller. And the controller interprets that as a point where it knows where the loco is located. So when you start a recording, the, you, um, the first checkpoint that is encountered is the date and position. And that means that when you play back a recording, you have to make sure that the loco is in the same zone between checkpoints that it was when you started the recording. And then every time it passes over a checkpoint, it then uh, remembers that. And the, the clever thing is that during playback, if there's been any slippage for any reason, it uh, relies on the next checkpoint to correct any slippage and make sure that the routine is kept uh, to the way it was when it was originally recorded. So all you have to do is fit these little checkpoints. These will span across double O and also across uh, TT120. And with a bit of modification, we can get it on Engage 2. Now the controller here has various functions, forward and reverse and speed. The speed control has acceleration and deceleration profile built in. I don't like to see uh, on railways crash start and stop. This has a much more realistic um, feel to it. The controller has channels for five channels of lights and four channels of points. Now this light here, for example, is on channel one. If I press one, it'll change from red to green. If I go one, one, it'll go back from green to red. This is on the flashing channel three. If I press three, those lights will, will come on, 33, and they'll go off. In this case, the points, uh, they're on number eight. This one, and 88, I'll change it back, and those points are points number nine, 99 to return. Uh, the other commands are, you've got 777, will put you in manual mode, so you can just drive uh, in the normal manner. Obviously, if you're just driving around um, your layout, 
you can alter the points as you require for moving into the sidings and so on. The uh, record facility is it's the same as the manual facility except that it records what you're doing. And to enable that you press three nines. 999 will get you starting to record. When you've finished you go back to manual with 777 and then to play back a routine it's 888. If you want that routine to repeat over and over and over, you go 253 and that will do it. There are other commands as well, but those are the basic ones. Now it's a good idea when doing a recording just to do the loco and the points, loco movements and the points only. You can add the lights during the playback. So if you adjust the light when you're playing back, then that adjustment will be recorded by the program. So the next time you play it back, the lights will be just the way you want them. So it all makes it nice and neat. Now a quick word about the accessories, the lights and the points. In order to keep the wiring ever so simple, we just use four wires from the controller, two which go to the track, and those two wires take the uh, checkpoint information as well. And another two wires which supplies 12 volts to another PCB which is underneath here, which is our points and lights PCB. So we send the commands down the 12 volt line which goes there to turn the lights on and off. For example, if I do that 3, it'll turn these lights on and 33 to turn them off. You can daisy chain the uh, another lights and points board uh, and you can multiply the number of lights and points you want. Each board at the moment does 5 lights and 4 points and you could have another one somewhere else on the system or and yet another one after that. Um, there will be a limit on how many you can use, but that limit will be more than you can probably handle. So now going to play a routine that was recorded on Peter's double O gauge layout, a slightly more elaborate routine. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. I've been in electronics a long time and I must admit I'm impressed with uh, what we've managed to achieve uh, in such a simple way.